All right, you've queued up your tortilla chips and salsa. You're about to tie into them, but wait a minute. Something's not quite right. Something's not quite right. Ah, of course. The beer. Can't have it without the beer. And what beer do we have today? We have Russell Brewing's Blood Alley Extra Special Bitter. 5.5% alcohol per volume. And this one was graciously donated by a co-worker of mine, Sue. So thank you to Sue. Big thank you. All right, so let's take a look. There's a bit of a history lesson on the back of the bottle. And uh, let's take a look at that. So, to quote, Blood Alley Bitter is an extra special bitter named after a notorious cobblestone laneway in Vancouver's Gastown District. According to legend, Blood Alley was home to many fine butchers and was one of the best places to source high-quality meats. The butchers would clean their stores using buckets of water and at the end of the day, the water would spill out into the alley, lining the cobblestones with blood, hence the name Blood Alley. At 50 IBUs, this beer is slightly higher in bitterness than the average ESB, but is well balanced by the rich roasted malt flavors. Brewed by Russell Brewing Company, Blood Alley Bitter is part of the Russell Brewmaster series, which is a succession of small batch beers crafted for an unconventional beer drinker. Well, if you want to confuse yourself in your beer history, look up ESB or look up bitter because I was taking a peek on Wikipedia and uh, it seems the term bitter and pale ale have been used synonymously and uh, different alcohol levels would indicate where the line is drawn between them, but nobody seems to agree properly on where those are. So I encourage you if you want to... Uh, be confused. Go look up bitter. All right, so giving it a pour here. And uh, tiny, you know, based on the pour, nice and pillowy. Uh, let's get a sense of the color. It's definitely a coppery color, which is common in, in this genre. I'm going to check it out. Mmm, wow. It's a very interesting flavor. There's a fair amount definitely the line between the IPA and the bitter is 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 uh, clear. There's less hops it seems, but and yet you you retain the bitterness. Not as much citrus in in this bitter. And because of the higher alcohol content, it's an extra special bitter, and, and I gather that's more of a Canada and U.S. thing than other parts of the world. But, to summarize, this is a very tasty beer. Definitely gets a mug up from me. And if you can find it in your liquor store, I would encourage you to pick some up. All right. Cheers. Cheers.